Now, we all love a build challenge, and I have tackled this one quite recently. This is, once again, the cursed build challenge from Plumbella. The reason I'm doing this again is I had a lot of fun last time. It was challenging, and I just really loved the fact that there was lots of different factors coming into this build challenge. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Now we need to go and find out what we are actually going to be building. And here it is. This is the build generator from Plumbella. If you want to go and do this, I will leave a link just like last time down below in the description box. So you can go and give this challenge a try yourself. Now, what this does, it breaks it down into the style of the house, the color theme. It also does the how many rooms and floors there needs to be, a budget for the build, how many sims are going to be living in it and you do get a disadvantage at the end as well so this disadvantage of the build is that you cannot use any cheats can you imagine if that was me i would be fuming about that no absolutely not so we are going to roll the dice okay this is the one i had to re-roll because the first one that popped up was a tudor style house and we've just done that one so i had to roll it twice so i did kind of cheat again and i know there would be people out there on reddit fuming that i am cheating at challenges but you know what this is all a bit of fun loves it's the sims you just need to stop taking life so serious you really really do the building style of your house is townhouse and your color themes will be your least favorite colors okay it will have four floors and four rooms not not that again not that again but that again, okay. Your budget for this build is 94,901 simoleons exactly. We need to make sure we use all of that this time because I didn't last time and there was people on Reddit fuming about it. It houses three sims and your disadvantage for this build is that you must build on the smallest lot. Oh, okay. Good luck, babe, Plumbella. That's a, a townhouse on the smallest lot. It's probably not going to be the worst thing having it on the smallest lot. So maybe we could go to the world of Brychester because I just think townhouses fit really nicely in that little area by the pub. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get on over and let's stop bloody building. And so here we are in the world of Brychester on the smallest lot size in The Sims 4, which is a 20 by 15. Um, I think this is the perfect space for a, for a townhouse, but not a townhouse for four rooms and four floors. I just... I can't with that. We're going to be using half walls and stuff again, I think, just to kind of like block off areas. I think that's what's going to happen. Now, it does have three sims, so we need a three bedroom. We can even do a two bedroom. And my least favorite colors. I don't really have least favorite colors, but if I had to go for some colors that I don't really like, maybe like oranges, pinks, and browns. I know I use a lot of brown wood tones and stuff like for fields, but I think I'm going to stick with that. So we'll just use the worst colour swatches. That's what we're going to do. My least favourite colours and the worst colour swatches. That's what we're going to do. Yes, we are indeed. I don't know what style of townhouse I want to build this in. I think we should go modern. I think we should go modern with it. A brown modern townhouse. I'm going to go down into the basement as well so it doesn't look too tall. So we're going to make a start. We're going to make a start here. Yes, we are indeed. We are not building on that height. I'm going to do it on a small height. Is there a better lighting here? There we go. Stunning. Um, so maybe a little bay window here. A little bay window like there. We can come over a little bit more here and maybe go inwards and have that as the entrance. I think that might be still be... I think that might be a little bit wide. Yeah, I don't want... I want this to be kind of a... Kind of a thin... Not thin, but... Thin. <laughs> not thin, but thin. But like a smaller kind of like sort of shaped uh, build. I think that's what I want to do. Let me have a little look at that. Yeah, I think that would work quite nicely. Okay, so we've got the stairs in. I think maybe we'll do the kitchen around there. Maybe the dining room here and then the living room in this kind of area. We do need to get a basement in. So I think what I'm going to do is just completely map the same shape down into the basement. I'm going to have to change the idea of the basement, sadly, because I can't make this into a separate room. And if I, like, removed the ceiling from here, it would just be a house floating on nothing, you know? And that isn't the vibe that I want to go for. So I think we're going to make it into a four-story townhouse now. Okay, so this is looking very tall. I've actually made the top bit smaller because I think I'm going to add, like, a, a kind of roof line around here. Like, a flat roof line just to bring a little bit of interest to an otherwise very weird-shaped townhouse. But... We're going to make do. What I need to do now is just finish off a few more like shapes and details around here. But I also want to pick out the windows and the wallpapers and stuff as well. Um, So this is what I've done. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's hideous. I know it's hideous. 
but we're sticking with it. And I'm going to try and make this look as best as what I possibly can. As I said, oranges and browns, there's just something about it I don't like. And I don't know why. I don't know why it is. It's just not for me. It is not for me. I think I'm going to get a bit, not clever with the windows, but I think I'm going to make some like in cove kind of like interest. Um, do you know what I mean? Like this kind of like vibe. Let's do this and then get rid of that and have that kind of vibe going like maybe one down on this side and one down on the other side. I decided against any kind of alcove with the windows. I tried a few ideas and it just wasn't working. I also bought in a sim because you can see down here my um, I didn't uh, have my budget there. Um, so I failed that. But we've got 76,548 simoleons left. I've done this like kind of like stepped or steeped kind of like courtyard raised courtyard area i'm not a massive fan of it to be honest with you i don't know if it's the fence that's like throwing me off or the fact that it just looks gigantic i think to make this look semi okay i might need to do some greenery and um, so i think that's what i'm gonna try and do now is just get in a bit of landscaping i mean greenery isn't saving it but <laughs> i think it looks a little bit better than what it did before this house is very ugly, but we're continuing on anyway, you know, sometimes you just got to do an ugly build every now and again, just, just to humble yourself. <laughs> and this is one of those days. I've been thinking I would like to see a different texture on here. I don't know if I mentioned as well, I did change out a few of the windows. I changed out those other windows for these ones. I just wanted a bit, a, a little bit more detail on it, a little bit more 3D-ness. And it's all right. That's all I'm saying. So... Changing texture wise, maybe I could use some of those uh, eco lifestyle panels. Yeah, I'll just put one on that side there. That's just a bit of architectural detail that is, my loves. Also, did the windows at the back here as well. Uh, just did walls of glass here. Did walls of glass and I put in that big slidey door a bit further back as well. Um, picked up some flooring for the front. Stunning. This is bloody ugly, but we're going to continue on. We're going to we're going to try and save it. We're going to try and save it. Anyway, so I need to do some terrain painting. Terrain painting has been done. I've just gone all around the lot and put in some soil. We're going to make a start on the courtyard. I've pulled out a few ugly pieces and colours that I do not like. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to flop it around together. I'm thinking a little seating area, maybe. Maybe a seating area over in this corner here. I could maybe pop the barbecue on that wall over there. Let me see what that would look. Yep, that's fine. And then using this hideous orange umbrella uh, picnic table. And maybe flopping that in that position there. You know what? That's not too bad. I also put in a little climbing ivy piece as well, just to try and bring some green onto the build. I tried to do that in other places, like put like box, flower boxes and stuff, but it, it just looked disgusting. Even more disgusting than it does already. Um, which is saying something. So, I, I, that's all I can say. We're moving on. It is a build by me, so we do need to get in some um, planters. And we're going to go for the orange planters as well. I'm not just going to stick to orange on the inside. We're going to go for a very um, menagerie of very bright, awful tones on the interior. So, please be prepared for that because that is what's going to happen yes it is yes we've got 64,000 smolens we've got so much money and i'm going to make sure to spend it all but i'm going to be very careful at the minute i'm going to keep everything to a bare minimum as we go along and then if we need to add more details and stuff in i'll continue on and just chuck it in just throw it in just throw it at it just absolutely slap it across the face oh we we'll use these city living lights i think i'm going to size them down a couple of times though just so we've got some lighting in the front or at the front entrance we haven't got any lighting in the garden area yet so i don't know what i'm going to do there just yet i'm just going to use these i'm going to use these saucer lights on the floor for the garden i'm going to put them everywhere uh in fact i'm not going to do them on that side we'll just do them down one side here i'm going to keep them in a white as well it's probably my least favorite swatch so i'm making sure to use my least favorite swatches um rather than my least favorite colors because i just as i said i don't hate every color I've just got the least sort of fate. Well, oranges. Oranges are just not for me. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. But I think I'm kind of done with the exterior for now. We're going to put on some details on the, like, balcony areas once we get there. I think what we need to go and do now is I'm going to choose a floor plan um, by use of half walls and stuff. We still need to get toilets and stuff in here. I don't know how we're going to do that. 
and I'm going to choose the wallpapers, uh, lighting and flooring. Okay, so the wallpapers and colour scheme for this house has been chosen and also the floor plan. So this is going to be a toilet. This is going to be a toilet here. This is where I'm going to put the living room area. Living room and kind of like hangout space kind of moment. And up onto the top level here is where I'm going to be putting the kitchen. I've kind of separated off like the stair area with some half walls. Um, we've gone for very dark burnt oranges, blues and also that horrible I don't like this color there's just something about this color I really really don't like that dark kind of like plummy lavender sort of tone it's just not for me so I'm going to do a children's bedroom in this part here and then above here is where the parents are going to sleep in their uh well their, their bedroom at the top and that caters for the three sims that we're building for um awful layout awful this is probably one of the worst builds I've ever done <laughs> it really is so I'm good in that vein we're going to make it look even more disgusting than what it does already starting with the living room now i can only apologize for what you're about to witness right here so here we go living room we're going to put this bookcase in here i just i don't know what it is i don't like that yellow and brown swatch it's just not for me so i'm going to flop you to there stunning i think that just separates the stairs off again from the room which is what i want we're gonna we're going for a mid-century vibe <laughs> oh, anyway sofas we're putting these two in i think that was the position that i had it might be a little bit further back actually around about there or even like there um this table in lavender that lavender tone stunning stunning we're doing a little bit of a tv unit up on the wall here a little floating tv unit with a tv up on the wall just like this my loves we're gonna bring in that pop of blue that we've been using everywhere by use of this hideous plant and i'm gonna flop that in the corner like that okay moving on i've been trying to make this look semi-decent and um i'm gonna say i failed but that is the premise and the vibe from this whole build may i just add uh, we're gonna flop this lamp in just next to it there stunning i also picked out that coral light just thought it went wonderfully in this room um this this desk i'm gonna put a desk over in this corner here that blue desk and that red and gold chair just not for me and then i'm flopping you up on top of the wall here for some reason just to bring that abstract abstract moment into this house and then this little uh this i had this weird like kind of uh alcove here so i decided on flopping that in there just for some storage but um but yeah, <laughs> that, my loves. In fact, I'm going to move you in a bit tighter, actually, like there. That, my loves, is the living room. Oh, oh, no, it's not. We're going to add this rug in. We're going to add this rug in under the coffee table here. Gorgeous. I think that just sets it off, that. Beautiful. It's, it's very Sims 2, this. Very Sims 2, indeed. Uh, anyway, moving on. So let me just furnish up this bathroom. And then uh, we'll make our way up to the kitchen. I probably want to try and squeeze a dining room in here as well. I think that would work. So uh, let's let's do that. Okay, so on to the kitchen. So we're gonna we're going for an orange and blue theme in here as well. Good job, these are complementary colours. That's all I can say. We've also done the bathrooms. Um, <laughs> we've done blue toilets in the bathrooms and a shower. I've done exactly the same down on this one here as well. Um, and I've also put a curtain up this time. Last time when I had this kind of challenge where I had to build just like one room. Um, you guys said to use a curtain. So that's what I've done this time. Just for you, that is. In this gorgeous, gorgeous house. Right, anyway, here we go. So I am going to use this blue and orange uh, kitchen from Dream Home Decorator. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. I'm going to flop another one into there. And that's probably where we're going to put the sink. Yes. And then we're going to use this oven. Um, uh, that's not an oven, Aiden. It's a fridge. We're going to flop you into there. Okay. Don't like the back bit on that, but I'm just going to... It's fine. It's absolutely fine. It's like polishing a turd at the minute, isn't it, darlings? Um, Do I want to go for a... Oh, we could go for a blue sink. Yes, we could go for a blue sink. 
stunning. And I was thinking rather than having it as a dining table in here, I think I want to do an island instead. So I've pushed it up against the wall. I think that is a little bit of a better layout for in here. Then the cupboards are kind of facing into the kitchen as well. <sighs> okay, well, what we need now are bar stools, lights, and some other decoration pieces. And there we go. I've gone for the bar stools from Tiny Living. I've put some of those lights up and those corally tones, those pastely tones, sorry. Um, a little picture up on the wall there just to help him with the theme, the aesthetic. Uh, a plant up on the ceiling there. I've kind of like overlapped these shelves onto that counter. So that counter might not work, but they do have a free counter just there. Um, some more shelves up on the side there. What else did I do? I put some plants in the corner. I've done like a little window seat in blue as well in that little alcove. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's came along. I've put some shelves up around on this wall here. I also did a full wall over the stairs as well, so they're not going to fall down anywhere. Little cactus in that corner, and a little unit over in that little alcove there. So it's a fully fledged working kitchen. No dining room in this place, but do you know what? I do not give a shit. I really, really, really don't. I'm just gonna. It's working. They can eat up there. It's gonna be fine. And that is the mantra. Yes, it is. So we're going on to the children's bedroom now. Now, this is a very big room for the children. The parents' bedroom is a lot smaller. Um, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to have the children's bedroom as the biggest room in the house. I don't tend to do that, but we're doing it today. So one child's bedroom. We're going to put the bed. This is the perfect place for the bed because it acts as a bit of privacy from everything else, you know. Uh, in in an otherwise very open house that's all i'm gonna say i'm gonna flop you to there uh, i've put this chair the lavender chair with the purple um pc because it's all full i'm good we're doing another window seat here as well i'm going to use this colored chair that matches in quite perfectly with the lavender that we're doing i did change the wallpaper behind it i just wanted to bring a little bit more of that orange into this room <laughs> Um, we're going to use this hideous bookcase um, from that pack. The, was it the pastel pop pack? I just don't use it. It's not my aesthetic. I just I just don't like it. I don't like it. It's not for me. Um, I'm going to flop you to there. We are going to use this doll's house and flop it right in front of that window there. I'm not doing any curtains in this build or blinds or anything because I just don't want to. Um, I'm going to put this toy box in this corner over there like this sure it's in a good space we do have a fully fledged bathroom in here as well that i have furnished i've sized up this rug and it fits into this room perfectly gorgeous we're going to pop an orange um wardrobe just into the wall there and then i'm going to bring you and pop you just into that outcove there so it just kind of like fills that space nicely this little brew, brew blue gruffalo or whatever it's supposed to be into that area there i'm going to move that rug along a little bit more just so it's underneath of that desk chair and then i'm going to flop this weird but i mean what is that i mean that's just no not for me go to hell um and that is the bedroom <laughs> bedroom uh furnished i think it's cute for a kid i think it would work for a child Again, not for me, not my aesthetic. Absolutely moving on. So we're up to the last room now, and that is the parents' bedroom. One main boudoir. So here we go. Bed. Orangey tone. It's a bit I, I do actually like that colour, but I'm using it anyway. Don't care if that's cheating. Couldn't give less of a shit. We are using it. And I'm gonna flop this in right there. Beautiful. We're gonna do these two bedside tables. I'm gonna put Position one there. Weirdly, the wood tones look good in here with a dream home decorator. I'm continuing on. I even tried to do a dream home decorator wardrobe bit, but it just looked really stupid. Um, that mirror shouldn't be there. Uh, I was meant to take that out. But what we're going to do is flop this just there. Just above it there. Or just below it, sorry. Um, put this wardrobe in there like that. And I'm going to have... This is the bathroom, by the way. I'm going to have an open concept bath. I mean, it's the parents, they can see each other have a little bath. You know, why not? Why not indeed? So I'm going to pop the bath there and we'll finish off the bathroom together. This plant is going over in this corner here. Just think that fits in quite nicely. This has turned out to be my favourite room in the house. Um, 
so I'm going to continue onwards. Um, we're going to pop these chairs in here. One there, one there. We're going to use this little table for those weird, like, snaky candle things. I don't get this. What happens when that burns down to there? What? You know, where is the logic in that? Where is the logic in it? Uh, I'm going to use this because I just can't stand pampas grass. I'm going to pop this here. But weirdly, I think it does fit in with the aesthetics of this room. I might try and colour that a different colour underneath and go a little bit more... Yes, like that. Yes, that's better. A little bit darker with it. And do you know what? I'm kind of vibing with this room. I don't want to put a rug in here either. I have gone around and painted all the ceilings as well. So we have got orange ceilings in the whole house now. We've still got 13,000 simoleons left. Um, so we're going to have to, we're going to have to try and do something. We're going to do you there and we're going to use a toilet and sink here. We use this sink. Uh, I think I'll put the sink on this side. Shall I put the sink there or the toilet there? I think I'll put the toilet here. Yeah, it's fine. And then we're going to go for a toilet just there. That should be absolutely fine. Spiffingly good. Yes, it has. And then a little mirror on the top here. Oh, can I use you in here? What would that look like? Uh, it's a bit big, I think, and it's cutting into the tap. That's not the vibe. I went for that mirror from Spa Day. It's just got a little, and I put a purple ring on it just to pay homage to the bedroom downstairs and a little toilet roll holder. That'll have to do. That'll have to do indeed. What a nice bedroom. I quite like that, weirdly. So we're going to move out to the balcony area here. One's on lounger there, one there. There are only 400 simoleons. Um, so we are going to be struggling now to spend the money because we've got 11,000 simoleons to spend. Oh, these are 700 simoleons each. So maybe I could use a few of these. I didn't know these were so expensive. Um, so let's get a few of these going around the place. Why not? You know, I might even pop some outside just because we've got all that money to spend. 9,000 simoleons. It's slowly going down. Let me see what that makes the build look like. <laughs> Yeah, it really improves it, Aiden. It really improves it. We could put some out here, though. Maybe I could... I don't know. Let me size this down first. We could do another one. Uh, there. Yeah, that's fine. Let's bring the money down by maybe putting in a glass fence across here. 400 simoleons. Another 400 simoleons there. That's really improved, that build that has. Absolutely stunning. We've still got 6,000 simoleons to spend. So maybe some art. You know what? That doesn't look too bad in here. I'm going to put you there. That was 1,200 simoleons. Maybe I could utilise some more art in other places. The sloth and llama art there. Why not? This piece from City Living. We'll flop you to around about there. Just so we've got a nice little bit of art decorating that wall there. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. 700 simoleons left. We're not doing too badly. That one there, beautiful. 378 simoleons to go. We'll pop that down. 375 simoleons. So we've got three simoleons to spend. What can we spend with three simoleons? I had to delete that because it was just very difficult to find something for the right amount of money. So I bought this painting here, put it up in the toilet, and I also bought this little soap dispenser. We have eight simoleons left, and there is some sunblock here that I'm going to spend. And I have reached it. I have reached my limit and I've spent all of that money. Okay, so here we are. This is, um, well, <laughs> one of the most hideous builds I've ever done. I won't lie to you, but we're just going to continue on anyway and appreciate it for what it is. A big orange turd in the middle of Brychester. Um, gorgeous. So modern townhouse we went for. That was the brief, well, townhouse was, and we've just gone for a modern one. Um, it's got a little... Uh, raised up courtyard patio moment around here around to the back here you come around and it's got those slidey windows doors that come all the way down there um one of my windows is glitched out there we'll ignore that uh big wraparound balcony beautiful um yeah so let's get inside and make ourselves ill so through the front door into the living area the living area in all of its blue, orange, purple glory. Stunning. Little desk moment over there. We've obviously got the slidey doors that go out into the garden area there. We have a toilet in here. And um, with some curtains. Forgot to put the curtains upstairs, actually. So we're just going to have to pretend that it is um, 
voyeuristic, a voyeuristic poo, if you will. Um, so you wrap around this way here into the kitchen area. There is another toilet in there. Come round into a kitchen, complete with a little island. It's got some. Ki it's got a kitchen area over on this side here, very orange and blue. Um, you come up the stairs again. It's going to be very difficult to try and meander myself around. You wrap around this way, stairs up into the main bedroom, and then into the children's bedroom. So, little children's room. It's got everything a child would need, apart from privacy, because <laughs> there's no curtains on that bathroom. <laughs> would, but I don't care. I really, really don't. And then up to this level, it's just going to be hard to move around here because it's on the top floor. And then into the main bedroom. I actually like the main bedroom for some reason. I think it's okay. And then the, it's got a big bathroom wrap around this way. Gorgeous. You can get out through the doors there onto a balcony and I've just popped up a couple of sun lounges so they can look at a big pink tree. Anyway, we're done. I'm never doing this build challenge again. We are done with it. That is complete. I am, don't think I'm going to put this up in the gallery because I do have some self decorum. Um, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Anyway, there we go. Build challenge done. We'll do some more build challenges, but I think we'll, we'll, we'll branch out and have a look at some other ones. That's what's going to be happening. Yes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, my darlings. Leave me some lovely comments down below and feel free to rip me a new one for this monstrosity of a build. I do not mind. I will be back on Tuesday with some more Let's Build the Worlds. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you all then. Goodbye.